So welcome back to part 10 of the best mods to use in Lethal Company. And of course, a happy new year to every one of you watching. And with the new years ahead, it is time to test out new mods to spice your game up a bit. And you can do that with the cast mod as the first mod on the list. Now this mod actually adds a new moon to the game called Cast. It costs around 1000 credits to land on and it is deemed to be the hardest moon available in Lethal Company right now. Upon landing on this expensive moon, you will notice that the layout is different with an industrial look to everything around it. Aside from having a few special easter eggs that you have to discover for yourself, this map tweaks the facility to have an insane amount of loot available. So you'll be able to reach a higher quota easily with this map. Now it doesn't change the inner facility unfortunately but do be well prepared as this map can be insanely hard as there would be more harder monsters available as a trade off for this map to give you more loot. Now with a mod of this caliber, everyone on your team requires this mod for it to work. Now in order for the previous mod to work, you'll need to get the Lethal Expansion mod. This is an insane mod that adds 3 new moons to your gameplay, which are 2 new Christmas maps and 1 new castle theme map. Aside from adding these new moons, it also adds something like a mod menu that can be accessed through the game menu and the amount of customization that you can do to your game is just overwhelmingly crazy. From adjusting the amount of money you have, all the way to adjusting how the monsters in the game behaves. It will take some time for me to go through all of them, so I would highly recommend for you to download it and test this mod out for yourselves. Now while these mods as new map for you to enjoy, they don't change anything about the facility and how it looks. Well, that can be solved by the amazing Scoopy's Variety mod. This adds a new dungeon themed interior that has a chance for it to spawn on whichever moons that you land on. This combines with the water rich map from the later expansion mod makes for a huge game changer. The dungeon themed facility is spooky with areas like the jail cellars and many many more. This map is kinda huge so I won't spoil too much of it as it is better if you experience it for yourself. Now as a disclaimer, this mod is actually an improvement and a sequel of the previous mod, Lethal Expansion. So by right, you only need Scoopy's Variety mod to get the features of Lethal Expansion. But for some reason, it's not really the case for me as I still need to install both of them to get all of the features. So I'm not really sure what's going on with these two mods, but just to be safe, install both Lethal Expansion and Scoopy Variety mod to get everything that I've showcased. Alright, now moving on to the fourth mod, and it's a simpler but a very fun mod to have, which is the More Blood mod. As mentioned, this adds more blood splatters to add on to the horror. This is perfect for those who felt that the vanilla blood is too mild and want something more gruesome. This is a client-sided mod so it only works for you if installed. Next up, the next mod on the list is a pretty special one as I haven't heard of this mod until the creator actually reached out to me on Discord to check it out. And yeah, I'm pretty glad that I did. This is the Corporate Restructure mod, and it adds new monitors to the ship's terminal to display very useful infos, such as displaying the current value of scraps that is on the ship, which already makes it a must-have in my opinion. It also adds the current time of the moon so it's useful for the ship's operator to know the amount of money that you currently have and the current day that you're in. And aside from these useful indicators, it gives the host of the lobby a choice to forcefully open the door of the ship while you're in the orbit to end the game immediately. Immediately. This is very useful if you or your team felt that it is impossible to reach the next quota and wanting to restart the game immediately without recreating the lobby every time. A must have mod in my opinion as it has some pretty thought out features. This is a client sided mod so it only works for those who installed it. And if you have any mods that you want me to check out or showcase, please write a comment below or send me a message on Discord. And if you want to see more amazing mods that you've probably missed out, check out these videos right here and I'll see you there.